A very good afternoon to everyone and thank you for joining in. As you are well aware that today we are celebrating the World Heritage Day. And uh, on this special day, we are discussing on a very special topic called Jantar Mantar Jep, appreciating the Indian heritage. To talk more on this, we have a very special guest with us who have done such an in, uh, intensive work on Jantar Mantar Jaipur. So he'll be sharing his presentation on that topic and probably that will give you more insight about the big gigantic uh, astronomical object at the Jantar Mantar Jaipur. What are the significant and what are the stories behind those uh, big, big, huge objects and how these scientific uh, uh, observatory were uh, being in use from Savayu Jaising to today's uh, recent work and how correct information they are given. So we have with us, uh, uh, the presentation uh, will be shared by Parash, uh, Parash Sharma. He's an amateur astronomer uh, from uh, Tanmay's Amazing Space. Tanmay's Amazing Space uh, is a group run by Tanmay sir, Tanmay Vyas sir, based in Gujarat. And they, they are doing really good work in terms of uh, making uh, popular the celestial science which we call astronomy and making those popular uh, with the young minds and very very easy scientific uh, way they have their very interesting uh, youtube channel as well in the regional language in gujarati so they'll be sharing all the detailed information on the various various um, whatever small and big astronomical events are taking place so they'll be sharing that so these are the young um, group member of tanmay's amazing space who are doing so much good work in their relative field. So my uh, good wishes to Paris and Tanmay's amazing space team and warm regards to Tanmay sir. So uh, now Paris will be sharing uh, his uh, research work uh, in terms of uh, presentation he, he'll be presenting with us today. So, uh, let's, let's celebrate this World Heritage Day with Chantar Mantar Observatory, Jaipur, appreciating Indian heritage. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Parash Sharma from the Tanmay's Amazing Space and uh, I do public outreach astronomy with Tanmay Vyas sir and uh, I am a Jaipurite and thank you so much Jap uh, Nehru Planetarium Delhi uh, for inviting us uh, on this beautiful occasion World Heritage Day and being a Jaipurite uh, there is one uh, uh, astronomical World Heritage site is very close to me yes uh, as a distance also very close to me and it is very close to my heart as well because as an astronomer so this is janta mantar jaipur yes this world heritage site this is the world heritage science uh, site since 2010 so i'll talk about this is uh, uh, these uh, all the instruments of uh, jantar mantar jaipur and i have also done the live from uh, from the particular site also there i and uh, my uh, uh, my senior uh, Miss Vishwa Jain, we both introduce all the instrument in real time. So today I will introduce you as a virtual tour. I hope you like these uh, slides. So yes, let's dive into a bit of history. So basically back in 1700, there was a king. It sounds like a story. Yes, it's a story, but real story back in 1700, 300 years back from now. Yes, there was a Maharaja Sawai Jaising Ji. He was a great astronomer, astrologer, mathematician, architect, city planner. Along with that, he was having a knowledge of Sanskrit, Hindi, English, uh, and different Arabic, Persian, and different, different uh, kind of knowledge he had. He was a great mind. He was having a great knowledge. He was working on Panchang. What does Panchang mean? Panchang is nothing. It is a calendar. It is a mythology, Indian mythological calendar. So he was like he, the dates and the festivals are shifting a bit. So he wants uh, that uh, whenever there is uh, some uh, displacement with uh, all the uh, festivals or anything else in the calendar, we need updatation. But how do we update them? If we have a lab, if we have a lab, in which we can understand all the positions of planets and uh, celestial bodies. Definitely we can do that. Calendar is all about all these things. So he was an astronomer, astrologer and um, mathematician, also an architect. He, he was the best personality who could, do, uh, who could do this and he did this. 
तो बेसिकली वॉट है वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू मेक समथिंग जाइंड समथिंग बिगर समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी वोट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू मेक सम प्रोटोटाइप एंड ही ऑल्सो मेड सम प्रोटोटाइप इन दहली उज्जैन वाराणसी मथुरा एंड फाइनल इन हिज ओन किंगडम दी पिंग सिटी जयपुर yes the final version which is working uh, by now also or other four uh, laboratories are not working quite well delhi uh, people are working on delhi observatory uh, uh, to uh, to make it working now so it's a good step but uh, yes jaipur's observatory is doing very fine and see how beautiful it is how beautiful all the instruments are looking these all are 19 astronomical instruments so this is the best place where you can understand about the positional astronomy in the world if you uh, if you are indian you do not need any visa just come here and uh, do the experiments right but how will you do that for that you need a bit understanding no uh, no worries we will look into that also so first have a look on this video how beautiful the lab is yes i captured this video a couple of days ago when uh, the when there was a rajasthan divas it uh, yes all the instruments are looking very fab yes these all are the instruments it seems like walls are there but they all are instruments and they all are very important and we will dive into some of the instruments so that we can uh, have an idea or understanding that uh, what was the ideology behind all these instruments and uh, how they do work and how we can understand them so yes now where this lab it is yes it is in jaipur but where tell us in some celestial way right okay fine earth is a celestial body and this is the globe fine this is the map of earth and in between there is a equator line okay fine so if you go above from equator line 23.5 degree you will reach to the tropic of cancer this is the maximum point where sun does reach okay and tropic of cancer uh, just 23.5 degree towards south this is the maximum point in south sun does reach fine but where is jaipur where is jantar mantar it is in india and in jaipur there it is so basically the thing is jaipur does not lie in between tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn it is about tropic of cancer 3 degree some uh, 3.4 degree fine it means it has a latitude of 27 degree what does it mean simply when uh, like uh, when when i want to see the north star so it depends on the location i uh, i am at 27 of degree of latitude so when i look at the north what i have to do is i have to uh, give myself myself a elevation of 27 degree and then i'll reach to the north star if you are at 23 then you have to give the elevation of 23 so this is how the altitude system does work i think one concept is clear now that latitude matters so in each lab all the instruments are uh, are having the basic idea of latitude the ideology behind all the angles are the uh, latitude of particular location great what you are talking about just come on the instruments i'll come on that but if you just go to the instrument directly you need a little bit understanding of that so just try to understand what this figure is trying to say and uh, how it is related to all the instruments see if you look at the north and the south and make a circle which crosses from your zenith what zenith does mean zenith is just above your head just above your head so this circle cut the sky in two equal parts one part where from sun does rise and one part where from sun sets and at the meridian line wherever there is sun this is the noon time so before noon and afternoon the sky is divided into two equal parts and the now i said ki just above your head the circle should cross from just above your head it means this would vary from location to location latitude to latitude so when i say local noon it means it is noon of jaipur or particular location not the Uh, indian standard because indian standard time uh, is according to allahabad so the latitude is different so whenever i will say that local time it means jaipur time and then i have to add some uh, time to match with the ist don't worry we will do that also 
What is this? This is one of the beautiful instrument, Lagu Samrat Yantra. So now, as you can see, this nomon. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to the instrument directly. But the thing is, whenever I go with my friends or any family member or anyone or I do a show at Jantar Mantar, and people ask me, what are these walls? What they do? And my simple answer is, what you can say. That uh, we can know about the time, we can know about where the position. No, 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 don't answer them like that. Simple answer is that they are the mediator between us and the celestial bodies. Like if I want to know where is sun, where is another, any other body like uh, moon or stars and anything, what is the particular time? Is it possible that I directly ask to them? No, I need a mediator. And these all instruments are the mediator. If I want to know anything about sun or anything about any other celestial body, I have to just go to the instrument and ask them, tell me what is the position and what is the time. And they will let they will talk to the uh, celestial bodies and let me know. It seems very uh, like uh, cool, but uh, how I will ask them and how they will tell, men, tell uh, me and how they will ask to the celestial bodies. For that, you have to understand two things. One is the architect. And one is the mechanism, how does it work, and uh, all the things, right? So basically, there is a nomon in this Laghu Samrat Yantra. Now I want to know about the time, so I just go to the instrument and I see, oh, what is this? This is a nomon. What is the angle of this nomon? Yes, it is reaching to the north star. It means it is at 27 degree of latitude. Fine. And I, uh, I recently talked to you about uh, meridian. So yes, north south. Okay, it's complete circle. So it is indication of noon, right? You are right. And there is a semicircle arc. Yes, this is oriented towards the equatorial plane. Now what happens over there? This nomon casts shadow on these slabs. So this semicircle arc is divided into two equal parts, equally arc. So when sun does rises, the shadow is somewhere here. This nomon casts the shadow. Uh, somewhere here and as the day goes the shadow moves from here to here to here and noon and then afternoon the shadow is there and then sun sets great so this moon is casting shadow on the marble slabs and there are some devanagari numbers are written some scales are over there what are the scales i'll come on that also so you can note the time from here along with that you can understand that uh, like there is a six o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock twelve one two three four five six these all are the local time so once you uh, once you get the time like eleven o'clock there is one board in that workers daily come and write that how much of minutes you have to add to match the indian standard time so no worries about that you will find the right Indian standard time according to Allahabad latitude. Great. Now the thing is, I am just talking about scale, scale, scale. What is scale? No worries. I have few graphics for you guys. One scale means one marble slab. As you can see, this one marble slab. This marble slab is of one hour. And one hour is subdivided into 15, 15, 15 minutes each. And there is also a scale which is of 5, 5, 5 minutes. Wow. Then there is another scale that is 1, 1, 1 minute of each. Not only that, that is also subdivided into 20, 20, 20 seconds. So when the moon casts shadow on the marble slab and the shadow moves, from one line to another line, it means now 20 seconds have completed. So this is the least accuracy of this instrument. So like if you want to say someone like uh, just wait for 20 seconds, just go there and track the shadow of sun, uh, which is casted by the nomon. And as it completes one line, you are like, okay, now your 20 seconds are completed. That's great. As I said, one slab tends to one hour means 12 hour, 12 slabs. Uh, so six slabs would be there and six slabs uh, uh, after uh, noon, before noon and after noon. Great. But uh, Sawai Jaisingji was not satisfied with this instrument. Obviously, he was having a immense amount of knowledge. He was like, okay, 20 seconds is fine. 
I want to make something giant, something bigger, like never ever made before. Something Virat. Virat means bada, giant. Obviously, he had that much of knowledge and the mindset, and he did it. He did it, and he made this beautiful giant sundial, world's largest sundial. Yes, this is the world heritage. It is uh, only in Jaipur, the largest sundial. Great. As you can see, all the mechanism is perfectly like the Lagu Samrat Yantra, the Chota Samrat Yantra, Choti Sundial. Wow. You can see the Numon, which is oriented towards the North Pole, North South Angle, Noon Time, fine. The semicircle arc towards the equatorial plane, fine. Uh, one side works before, uh, before noon and one afternoon, fine. Sunrise, uh, the shadow would be here, sunset shadow would be here. All things are great. What is the change? The change that sundial is used. I am just using the word use, use, giant. How giant it is? It is too giant. As you can compare, that these people are having pictures. These people are sitting over there. There are trees. All are looking just pieces. That much of giant it is. Okay, no worries if you are not getting the idea. You must be knowing this man, the great Khali. What is the height of Khali? Seven feet. How much Kali you need? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Kali of height. Twenty-two point six two meters, seventy-four feet. That much of use it is. Wow. As I said, all the mechanism is same, architect is same. Then how does it work differently? So this is the one scheme. Now you are like, yeah, that time you use the graphics, this time you are just coming on the screen. No worries, I have graphics for that also. Like one uh, slab indication of 15 minutes. Five, five minutes each, which is subdivided into one, one, one minute each. And then it is also subdivided into six, six, six seconds. That time the least accuracy was a 20 seconds. And now there is a scale six, six seconds. Not only that. This is subdivided into two, two, two seconds. That much of accuracy it has. That's why it is the greatest sundial of heaven. Heaven means the pale blue dot earth. Wow. Obviously, one hour would be four slabs because 15 minutes of each sundial, uh, each slab. So 12 hour would be 48 slab, 24 slab before noon, 24 slab afternoon, and no one is for noon. Wow what you are on that now what you want to say simply i just want to let you know that that we uh, understood about the time ideology but okay first let me tell you one thing a circle is of 360 degree fine if you zoom into the circle of a one degree only a one degree what you will find the 60 arc minute there is also a scale then in one arc minute you will find the 60 arc second Wow, but why I am telling you all these things? Mm -hmm. Just wait for a while. Now you got it, degrees, arc minute and arc second. There are scales associated with another scale, fine. This is the pale blue dot, our earth, which is rotating on its axis. Wow, which is the indication of day night cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long a day? Wow, it's been a long day. No, it's a 24 hour. Wow, so 360 degree means 24 hour because it completes one rotation and it takes 24 hours as simple as that so one degree would be four minutes one arc minute would be four seconds and one arc second would be one by 15 seconds so what does it mean so when we have been to the laghu samrat yantra and we were like okay when when the shadow uh, moves from one point to uh, another point it means it is 20 seconds is there anything relation with the earth rotation? Obviously, now you are getting it. And this is five hour minute of rotation when the shadow moves from one line to another line. And uh, everyone is gangster until the real one comes. And that is the Virat Samrat Yantra. Two seconds of accuracy, not about degree, not about arc minute. Now it is arc second arc second 30 arc second of rotation guys 30 arc second of rotation it tracks how oh, beautifully the instrument was made that time great 
Now the thing is, is there a sharp shadow? When the numon casts the shadow on the slab, is it sharp? No. But don't worry, the shadow is not sharp. But in we all uh, understand a bit of mathematics. And what we do when we when we have all the numbers and somebody wants only a single number, we just take the mean value. So we will do that also here. So it is uh, it is not about worry. Just take the uh, dimmest point and the brightest point and get the mean value, and that would be your time. The error is there, always there, but not that much used. And guys, it was made three hundred years back, and it is working still, and in a finer frame. What else you want? Okay, altitude, azimuth. Now what it is? No, 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 no worries. Actually, we are uh, moving to the next instrument, and for that we have to have little bit understanding of these two points. What these are? These are nothing. Just movement of your neck. What? Yes, that's just movement of your neck. So basically, when you look at the north and you move your neck in such a way, it means you are changing your azimuth angle. Like zero to thirty, thirty to sixty, then one eighty, and two uh, seventy, and again zero degree, zero degree north, ninety degree east, south one eighty degree, and west three seventy degree. This type of movement of your neck means azimuth angle. Wow. Another one is also the movement of neck, but in a different way. Now you have to look straight where sky and land does meet. And you have to move your neck in such a way. This this would be zero degree, and the top would be ninety degree. And this movement is defined as the altitude angle. How much you are moving your neck? Simple thing. Why I am telling you all these things? Because the next instrument is really very interesting, and it is all about all these things. This is clear. Wow. Rama Yantra. What does Rama Yantra mean? Rama uh, Ram Singh was uh, Jai Singh's uh, grandfather, and it is a tribute to him by Savai Jai Singh Ji. So basically, as you can see, there are two instruments. One is this one, and one is this one. So basically, there are two instruments of Rama Yantra. They do different work. No, 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 no. As you can see, there are sections and there are gaps. So wherever there is a section in one instrument, in another instrument there would be gap. Why? Why? Basically, they both are complementary to each other. For a uh, for a while, one works; for a while, another works. But why complementary? He could have make a particular cylinder. Yes, he could have. But like these people, those are taking readings from there. We have to go inside the instrument and take the readings. Then only we can have a, a good amount of understanding. So Raja Jai Singh, he was like, "I'll go inside and get the readings in a perfect way." Now you must be thinking about that. There is a huge circle at the top, and these are what are the slabs and all that stuff. So basically, there are some you can see some khache, some or uh, some gaps are there. Three gaps. So whenever there is a, a height, you just put a wooden plank and sit on that and get the readings. Okay, fine. This is all about architect. What is about mechanism? I'll come on that also. I have videos. No worries. At the center, you can see there is a rod in both of them. Just at the center, this rod casts the shadow on slabs, and then you get to know about altitude and azimuth angle of celestial bodies, be it moon, be it sun, or be it anything. It depends how precise you are in measuring the things. How does it work? Again, the question is because it is not clear from outside. We have to go inside. That's why he made the complementary instrument. So I have been there. So as I said, the azimuth angle you have to move your neck. So at the top there is a circular scale. Uh, let me start the video. So this is zero degree north to yes, the top. All the readings are written the azimuth angle. And this is the rod. Yes, all the. This is three sixty degree of circle. Great. Wow. Now, let's have some another thing. Sun friendly, obviously. Sun is there. Now, as I said, rod would be casting the shadow. Now the rod is casting a shadow. Yes, there is a shadow. You can see. This is zero degree of altitude. Altitude. 
and these lines are the latitude lines all the lines are latitude lines so now you can see there is shadow so there is one line so you have to just note this line there are readings are written over there in the devanagari so whatever the line it is you just take the reading that would be your altitude what does it mean that sun is how much above from the horizon 40 degree 45 degree 50 degree whatever it would be there would be reading you can check it through the stellarium app also and i did it in a live session so you can go and check it out from there there we have uh, taken all the real time readings now you got the altitude angle but what about the azimuth angle simple just orient it towards the okay 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 towards the top of the scale and yes there you will find the azimuth angle so now you understand that what is the azimuth angle that how much earth has rotated where is sun what is the uh, altitude of sun or if there is another body all things you can get from here not only that as i said 0 degree north 180 degree south so when the uh, when this uh, uh, rod casts the shadow in such a way that it is aligned towards the north 0 degree north it means it is what it is i said na north south zenith yes it is local noon and if you get to know about local noon just go to the virat samrat yantra and get uh, get to know what is the time yeah it would be noon time fine now this picture tells us that how the shadow is being cast it so there are readings like if the sun is just above your head it means just above the rod there would be no shadow but as i said jaipur does not lie between tropic of capricorn to tropic of cancer so sun would never ever be above the head so obviously there would be minimum to minimum shadow angle would be 3.42 degree so there is a altitude uh, shadow and at the top there would be azimuth so this is how you can get to know these things now what is this beauty this is nadi vala yantra just look at it just look at this beautiful instrument how one side is facing another one is another and the name nadi vala yantra so i will explain the name also and how does it work don't worry just look at it okay just look at this lady what she is doing she is pointing something okay let's track her she is pointing there is a rod okay this rod must be casting a shadow on the plates okay fine okay fine so there should be another also rod yes yes there is also a rod there is also a rod okay fine that much is clear that much is clear but you need to see how does it work what is the mechanism and the real photos of the of this uh, uh, slides first understand it what is this this is one side this is another side and one side is facing towards the north celestial pole north celestial pole simple it is if you uh, like project the north pole of uh, earth into the sky it would be north celestial pole so one side of uh, plate is uh, oriented towards the north celestial pole the rod is just uh, oriented towards the north celestial pole and another towards the south celestial pole that is why there are two plates in opposite directions north and south and if you make the circle what nadi vale does mean nadi vale simply says that if you start your journey from the north celestial pole and complete it as a 90 degree and if you start it from the south celestial pole and complete it as a 90 degree where you will reach it is very complicated no worries as i said that all the celestial um, like the uh, celestial beef celestial equator beef celestial pole are just the projection of uh, earth lines in the sky so when you start your journey okay you start your journey from the north pole of earth and you just move to the 90 degree of angle and your friend also starts from the south pole and move to the uh, 90 degree of angle where you will meet both of you obviously on equator you will be yes and if you project this equator line into the sky where you will reach equatorial plane now just like we were dividing the sky in two parts by the noon time here we are dividing the sky in two parts by the equatorial plane one is northern hemisphere one is southern hemisphere i hope that much is clear northern and southern basically when sun is in northern hemisphere for 6 months uh, from 21st of september to 
21st of March and then 21st of March to 21st of uh, uh, September again in the uh, northern hemisphere. This is how the journey of sun uh, throughout the year. So when sun is in southern hemisphere, this side of uh, clock would be working. And when the sun is in northern hemisphere, uh, the northern plate would be working. This is how the sky is being divided into the six six months, and this and this is what the meaning of Nadi Vala Yantra. Wow. These are the pictures. So as you can see, that day I have captured these pictures also from the both sides. You can see this plate, and there is one shadow which is which is uh, being casted by this rod. And if you look at there, there is no shadow. It means where is sun? Sun is somewhere where this uh, uh, plate is oriented towards north. Yeah, sun is in northern hemisphere. After 21st of March, sun is in northern hemisphere. And I have been there after 21st of March. This clock was working. This was not working. Fair enough. So this is how you can understand that where is sun. And you also get to know about the time also. But the accurate time. Uh, means the with the least accuracy time you can get to know from the Virat Samrat Yantra. Wow, this is what the Nadi Vala Yantra or the equatorial sundial and the terminalos. Hope that much is clear with you all. You all are enjoying this slides. Now the complicated things come. What is this? Jay Prakash Yantra. Jay is fine. Okay, okay. Now you all are knowing about the name of uh, Savai Jay Singh. So Jay comes from there. Prakash. Light, Yantra, instrument, Jay Prakash Yantra. Raja Jay Singh Ji was a great mathematician, great astrologer, and great astronomer. I am telling it on and on because this is required this time. Because he was like, I have made four labs, I have made this Jaipur lab which is working perfectly. Now I want to use all these science, all these mathematics in one instrument. Be it complicated. Doesn't matter, but I want all the readings from one instrument. And obviously, yeah, he was a personality. He could have done this. And he did this. He made this Jay Prakash Yantra, where you can get to know about right ascension, declination. What does it mean? They are just a, uh, like a location of any celestial body in the sky. Latitude angle, altitude angle, local noon, uh, big zodiac sign, uh, be, it any, be it any nakshatra. Uh, Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, Equator Line, where is sun, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, every single thing is in this instrument. And it was made by Savai Jai Singh Ji back in 1700, 300 years back, that much of mathematics in these uh, hemispheres. Wow. But why there are two? Basically, one is complementary to another one. Uh, likewise, uh, Rama Yantra, because as you can see, there are sections, there are gaps. So if there is a section, you will go there and there would be a gap. He could have made the single hemisphere bowl. Yes, he did that also. But he was like, if all the readings are written over there, and if I look from the above, the things are written very short to short. And I have to take all the precise measurements. So it would be better if I go inside and take the reading. It would be amazing. I can get all the precise measurements. So let's make it in a way that there would be two instruments. Those are working perfectly. One are one are the one instrument and another are second instrument. And the readings would be quite perfect. Okay. Well, he made it. He made it in the section or gap format, and uh, there are stairs. Uh, so you can go uh, down stairs and uh, take the readings. Obviously, the permission is required. Now. You can see how it is work. No, 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 you can't see. First, I have to let you know that there is a metal uh, plate which is suspended by the wires. Wow. So this metal plate is at the center, just at the center. So sun would be above, the shadow would be just down, then it down, then it down. But this is not the case. Jaipur is not in the uh, in between the Tropic of Capricorn or Cancer. Great. But as we have seen all the things, this plate also casts the shadow. If there is moon, it would be casting the shadow of moon. There is sun, it would be casting the shadow of sun. It starts uh, for stars, you have to, you have all the precise um, measurements. Then only you can take the readings. How does it work? Again, the question comes.
as i said the metal uh, plate cast the shadow on uh, this hemisphere so now you can see there are three pictures of different different times it seems same but they are from different different times what they are telling us so these are the equator lines this one is equator line this one is equator line this one is equator line okay fine wow well, this is before equinox you can see the shadow is somewhere in the northern hemisphere because there is tropic of capricorn and there is tropic of cancer so uh, shadow is somewhere between uh, somewhere in the southern hemisphere um, above from the equator great then on equinox the shadow is just on the equatorial plane on the equator line which means it is the equinox day this 21st of march now after equinox the shadow is in the northern hemisphere and there are lines these lines are uh, very complicated structure there you can get to know about all the right ascension declination altitude azimuth and all the stuff related to any celestial body but the thing is when the shadow was on equator and i have been there and i was trying to read what is written over there what i found there is aries written over there at 0 degree according to earlier methods and according to some uh, astrological thing because i said he was a astrologer also that's why there is aries uh, written over there but as we know now that sun is in the pisces but some of the astrological reasons or earlier method it is written 0 degree as a aries point so you have to add some of the days to get the perfect readings although many more things it uh, tells us perfectly but some uh, astrological things are also over there great now again the video is there i'll tell you how this metal plate cast the shadow look at carefully there is sun oh wow and uh, this metal plate is casting shadow somewhere here this is equator line this is uh, northern hemisphere and the shadow is there wow. this is the hemisphere ball this point is just oriented towards the north pole polaris star in such a way this hemisphere ball is also made like uh, it should uh, justify the latitude of particular location that's why i'm just saying that north star in this orientation and uh, there would be equatorial equator line and uh, capricorn uh, and cancer line all the lines are over there just have to go down stairs and take the reading this is all you need to do see how beautiful the instruments are so see how beautiful instruments are over there so we have covered the lagu virat samrat yantra rama yantra nadi vala yantra jay prakash yantra and uh, now we got to know about how we can measure the time position of celestial bodies beautifully they were made 300 years back now when you come to the jaipur and you just go to the jantar mantar and you would be like no no these are not walls these this is a lab this is a scientific lab you can do the experiment this is the open scientific lab and if you are in indian i feel like you do not need any visa you just have to come into jaipur stay for few days and track the shadow and you will understand the positional astronomy like never ever before and i was fortunate in i'm fortunate enough that i am a jaipurite and uh, when i was studying the celestial sphere positional astronomy i used to go over there and take the readings and i used to justify my things like okay now this is fine now i have done my experiment so you can also do that you can understand about uh, how the equinox is there how the uh, uh, solstice and uh, all the things are happening um, as a event so these are the beautiful uh, uh, events you can track over there just come and visit the jantar mantar jaipur we have also been over there we have been yes we did the live session from the jantar mantar jaipur and uh, take the live take the live, real time readings i and my senior vishwa jain we both uh, covered maximum number of uh, like uh, most of the instruments so that uh, people can get to know about this heritage site and uh, understand the importance of jantar mantar jaipur 
so yes these are not the walls as people come and say these are these these, these all are the beautiful instruments this is the lab uh, like never ever made before on this planet this blue heaven planet so just go and check it out all the videos then you will understand how the ist time is matching to the local time and how the altitude and latitude of sun is changing how all the readings are matching with the stellarium by now also why it is equinox on the 21st of march we have been there and we have calculated all the things uh, so yes this is from my side and thank you so much nehru planetarium for giving me this opportunity for uh, inviting us uh, to, uh, to let you visit the jantar mandal jaipur virtually on this world heritage day and uh, thank you prerna ma'am and i know about ratna shri ma'am also she has done a great job in delhi uh, on uh, the jantar mandal delhi so thank you so much and uh, hopefully you liked uh, uh this presentation of jantar mantar jaipur and uh, whenever you come to jaipur we the tanmay is amazing space are here thank you so much